My name is Christian Aldo. I am the CEO and founder of Erecticon, Architecture of the Future. It's an architecture firm that I, I create Build, uh, I create conceptual mock-up buildings for billionaires to, to build their their dreams. And, and this one here, there's um, there's some billionaire that I know. He's like a, a John Jones type character, but it's a woman. And and, um, and and she wanted to build the temple to the cock. So you know, up here is the there's the the platform, and and here they have the magic phallus. And whoever drinks from the juice from the golden phallus. Uh, they, they, they all get all stirred up into a frenzy down here and they're dancing and then they climb the thing up here and uh, and then you have the priestess up here saying worshipping you know, everyone's Deek they're all under the spell this is the temple of love and these are the giant smokestacks it's on an island I actually have a story about this a great story about this why I built it, and it's sitting on an island right now. Um, currently, right now, I'm, on, I'm working on the YMCA. It's just more of my sculptures. See, this is the YMCA. It goes here, like that. And let me. Um, So you have like, here's the, the pool area, here's, this will be the, here's the sign, the neon sign YMCA, that's just going to light up. Here's the, here's the swim pool area, you have the guy on the diving board, and then you have, um, oh, you have the guys inside the, inside the pool, inside the water, and you're beckoning him to come into the pool, see, the swimmers. What the hell? Bum, 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 bum. See? And then, um, and then of course you have uh, you have the guys coming out the window, beckoning people to come in and party. And then, um, then you have young man, bum 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 bum. I said young man, and he's running up the big cock into the YMCA. And then, and then. Um, And then you, I'm gonna make a park bench. So you have, you have more partiers here. You have a, a partier here drinking. Um, and then of course you got guys in the weight room up here. He's working on weights. And you have another guy I guess fucking having fun here. Potty potty. That's it. The rest are all just body parts, and I gotta fix them up. of Erecticon. Erecticon was this was this idea that I had where I wanted to create um, architectural mock-ups in 132 scale of all different types of architecture. And I started because I wanted my goal was to make this big coffee table book. And um, and then I did it for and then I just I moved to Toronto and I just the project just went away. But now officially as of this moment Erecticon will be erect. I'm going to make it happen. It's it. That's it. It's reborn. Erecticon is reborn. Erecticon be reborn! As of now. Sticks. 
fiber dots. I'm just a, I, I smashed his face. I, I made this sculpture really quick. I made it, I, I made, I made Woody Allen, George Lucas, and um, Alfred Hitchcock all in one night. And because I had a show that I, I was invited to be part of, but I only had two days to make th three pieces for the show. So I made three sculptures on pedestals and Woody Allen was one of them. But when I did it, I, I had one day to sculpt it and then on day two I painted it. I had no day to make any revisions. So years later, here we are with this damn thing and I thought, you know, since the next big show coming up is the, the TV retro super show, artwork inspired by movie and TV pop culture, it's time to, 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 to bring out a couple of those sculptures. The Woody Collins is gone. Alfred Hitchcock sculpture's gone, but uh, but I still have the Lucas and um, and the and the and the Woody. Um, now it's time to go back and fix some of the sculpting so that it actually looks more like the real person. But it's just a quick fix. I did narrow narrow his jaw a little bit, and then I'm gonna make his nose a little bit bigger, and um, and work on his uh, his mouth a little bit. And so I'm just quickly patching. I don't want it too perfect. It's it's, you know, it's a, it's an attack sculpture. You just attack it and just, ca it's just capture some of Woody Allen. I don't want to make it too, like, it's not a goddamn clay portrait. I love Woody Allen. Uh, he's one of the greatest teachers of my entire life. He's, he's my professor. I didn't go to university or college. Went to art college for one semester. And then I said, fuck it. Fuck our college! I just kept challenging myself with new projects all the time. And I kept learning and challenging and learning and challenging and started. And always take on projects that scare you a little bit because it, it pushes, you know. It's, it's like the womb that keeps pushing out bigger babies. Eventually it becomes, you know, a black hole. That's a stupid analogy. It's kind of spooky. No, I think the vagina is a black hole. Yeah, it was a black hole that pushes. Actually, supposedly a black hole sucks things out. It does. And, and, and That's why. Out on the other side. <laughs> so yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, it is looking now. Let's get a little bit more of his kooky hair coming out of the side of his head, kind of like in the old '70s days. Oh, let's work on his nose a little bit too. I was a little curious about his face, so I looked up pictures of him on, online. But that wasn't helping me, so then I looked up caricatures of Woody Allen, and they all seemed to caricaturize his like a bigger, rounder nose. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with that a little bit. <laughs> Actually, surprisingly, it kind of kind of works. <laughs> Woody. Now I got to do his mouth next.
two. See, because that's so nicely, um, it's like architecture. It's just it's uh, holding itself up now. So I have to move this shit. Okay. okay, we can let it go. Um, this building, um, it was built back in '99. I built it for some um, for some multi multi millionaire in Los Angeles. And they built the, it's, it was an, an eatery. It was like, actually, it was a sushi place. And, um, and uh, they, we built it just like this. This was the mock-up. But then they had it torn down because um, everyone said it was obscene. But the guy spent seven, five million, I forget, some crazy amount of money building it. There's the back of it. There's this profile, and there's the other profile. See, all the people would sit in here, and the tables would be up against here. And, the eatery, yeah, it was shut down. Also for for uh, food poisoning violations, of course. And the vagina labias would light up. It was like red light, and neon, and <coughs> the eatery. These were the regular patrons. That was Bill, and there was his wife. They were divorced now. But he um, he had food poisoning, also going into this place. The Temple of Love. <coughs> She's one of the priestesses. Um, she also died because she drank too much of the of the potion inside of the phallus. And these um, are some of the wild, um, the very very excited, um, um, you know, um, um, worshippers. They go to this island and, and um, they give all their money to this priestess. Uh, she she's a multi multi millionaire. She doesn't pay any taxes or anything. And these, that's her ex-girlfriend. They men who come to this island, they go inside the temple and they have orgies with them, and they take their sperm and stuff, and they cook them, and they cook them, and they smoke them, and they smoke stacks here. They burn them off, and there's the Summer Ted House. Um, the man who built the Summer Ted House for this woman, um, he he built the Summer Ted House for her. He was a crazy architect, but then she eventually divorced him because she became a fundamentalist Christian. And she was embarrassed of the Tid House. And, and since she left him, and here's a shot of her actually leaving him. Oh, there's, there's, she's walking out on him and she says, you can keep the dog. There's the dog down here. And, um, and so since then, he's become a swinger and, um, and he's in the process of, he removed this and now he's building a balcony up here with the jacuzzi and stuff. And he's, and he's got a, a, a Juliet um, a balcony that he's, there, this is the master bedroom here. And there's the dog shit, dog shit on the lawn. That's another reason why they got divorced. And, and then, oh, this is um, and uh, this is um, the, this is the the guest bedroom, of course. And um, this is another uh, guest bedroom. And that this is the kitchen. That's one of the kitchens. And of course, uh, that's the 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 waitress at the bar. It's called Playboy Manifesto. It's my Playboy Manifesto. Yeah. 
Playboy Manifesto.